In this video, I'm going to cover the catalog manager, and the catalog manager would allow you to add and remove the catalogs on your website for aftermarket parts, accessories, and apparel, and also for the OEM units or vehicles on the website. So in the command center over in the left navigation, we want to click on the store tab and drop down to the catalog manager. And when the catalog manager loads, it's going to default to the active tab. And the active tab is going to list out any active brands and or distributors I have on the website currently. So I'm going to click on Honda and it will expand. And Honda has two types of catalogs on the website. E-commerce would be the accessory and or apparel catalogs for a brand and also the showcase catalogs which would be the vehicles or units on the website and you can pick and choose what types of units you want to display on the website and what years and when you make changes whether you're adding or removing you want to make sure to hit save changes when you're done in a moment here it's going to pop up a message that the catalogs have been updated now I'm going to click on that Honda tab to collapse it. And now I'm going to click on Polaris to expand. And I'm going to turn on a few of these accessory and apparel catalogs. And I'm going to adjust a few of these units. I still have Polaris ATVs, but I no longer have any of the 2013 models in stock. So I'm going to uncheck that. And I'm going to uncheck the 2014 side-by-sides and I'm going to save changes now I'm going to go from the active tab to the available tab and this will list out any preloaded catalogs we have in the system for you now I'm going to scroll down and find Fox and check that and save and once this updates I'm gonna go back to the active tab find Fox on the list I can see zero enabled I'm gonna click on that Fox tab and I'm going to enable the Fox MX catalog and the apparel and footwear I'm going to save changes So it's check to enable, uncheck to disable. You always want to save your changes. And after you save your changes when adding and removing catalogs, in the upper right hand corner, you want to click on the website drop down. You want to publish your product keywords and publish your website changes.